People, we're back, man. Uh, D. Kane's World. Uh, it's the end of the year, the end of 2020, basically the end of the year. We got a couple days left. It's the 28th today. Monday the 28th. Um, yeah, man, it's been a cool year. Uh, I mean, as far as as growth, uh internal internal things this year has been good for me at least i should say i don't want to say for everybody or speak for everybody but for me it's been good man because this year 2020 started out crazy you know what i'm saying uh 2020 started out crazy for me um january so it started so look i lost my job right before the new year of 2020 and 2019 coming into 2020 i'm broke i'm broke i'm broke uh I ain't got no job. I mean, I had a job, part-time job. Not, I had two jobs in 2019. 2020 comes around, I got one job. It's a part-time job. It's a good job, but it's a part-time job. Uh, I already got the Vegas trip booked for January 18th for the Connor fight for UFC 246. Mind you, I'm broke, bro. Like, I'm broke. I'm going into Vegas broke. I'm going into Vegas spending money I ain't got. You know what I'm saying? That's one part that sucked, which was crazy. But I couldn't give this, I couldn't give the trip up. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't give it up. Uh, I, I wanted it. I was like, nah, fuck that. You know what I mean? I gotta go see these, I gotta go see Connor fight. I gotta, uh, witness this. I gotta go to Vegas too. I had never been to Vegas. This was my first time in Vegas ever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so the 18th rolls around or not the 18th. What is it? I left on a Thursday or Wednesday or something like that comes around, whatever the 15th comes around. I get in Vegas. I get all my shit. I'm in Vegas. I'm like, damn, this is dope. You know what I mean? Fights come, fights come along, which is the 18th. That's January 18th. I get stupid drunk. You know what I mean? Mind you, I got pills with me too. I got brought hella pills with me. Uh, painkillers um i'm just being honest i don't care what people think you know what i mean it is what it is uh but i brought hella pills with me and i i had uh in vegas they only sell big bottles so i'm walking around with a bit i you know from vegas ain't for me vegas is not for a person like me i like to get fucked up you know what i'm saying like when i was in that mindset i like to get fucked up i like to uh i like to get real uh, toasted, you know what I'm saying, and just have a good time, but usually the good time always leads into shit, you know, but uh, anyways, so mind you, I'm drinking this whole time, the fights come, I'm at the fights, have a good ass time, I see JJ fight, that's really what I went for, for JJ and Mike, support them to see what's up with them, uh, I go out there, they fought, JJ got robbed, first off, JJ got robbed in that fight, she beat, uh, I think that girl's name was Sabina Meza or something like that, she beat that girl, JJ won that fight, bro. And then the judge on that was Adelaide Bird. And once I heard that name, I was like, oh, this is not good. JJ lost. In reality, she won. In reality, I guess she lost. In my mind, she won. Boom, fight's over. They're out. I'm all, by this time right here, by, that's like, she was like one of the first few fights of the card. By that time already, I'm already hammered. I'm in the hallways mingling with people, or not in the hall, whatever you call the arena. You know how you can walk around. I'm out there mingling with people. What's that? Uh, trifecta. Those people was out there selling shit, whatever the fuck they were selling. I can't even remember, but they also had that punch machine. So I'm out there trying to hit the punch machine, and uh, I just was hammered, but I was just hammered having a good ass time. I mean, and then by the time the end of the fights, by the time the end of the fights came, Connor fought. I don't even remember, bro. I don't even remember a lot of those fights, to be honest with you. I remember JJ's fight. And then from like right now, if I try to draw back, I remember a little bit of the Connor fight. Not much. I got it all on camera. I got it. I got the whole Connor fight on camera. Uh, uh, I remember Drew Dober, uh, sleeping at Nasrat cat. I remember Drew Dober sleeping that fool, uh, which was exciting. Um, what else? Man, I just can't remember much else. Yeah, I was hammered, but I kept drinking Jack and Coke, Jack and Coke, Jack and Coke. Mind you, I'm popping fucking Norco's mid-sentence and, you know, getting hella high off those and then mixing them with alcohol. It's not a good thing. Um, so, yeah, the fights happen, all that. I'm leaving. Every time after I leave the fights... When I'm with when I when JJ or Rose or somebody's out there, I try to link up with them. If they lose, if they lose the fight, 
I don't rush it as much. I'm just like, you know, because everybody, you know, nobody likes to lose. You know what I'm saying? So I know dealing with a loss could be different, but they were still hella cool. Mike and JJ. Anyways, I'm so hammered at this time when they're trying to like Mike's communicating to me through text and shit. I'm like talking to him like, what's up? Blah, blah, blah. I can't even remember. I think they were they was at the Palms. They were at the Palms, bro. They was at the Palms. And uh they were at the Palms. I walked to the Palms from the from the strip, I think, bro. Like two miles. I mean, long walk, bro. Like, you can see the building. I'm just like anyway, whatever, who cares? I just, I was just so fucked up. But uh I, I I get there, I get there, Mike come gets me. I'm so fucked up at this time, bro. Like legit hand bammed, like at this time. Like I remember being in there with them. Ashley Yoder was in there, uh JJ was in there, and Mike was in there. And I'm Fucked up. I, I got pictures with Ashley Yoder and, and JJ like this. My hair's... All, I'm going to show you. I'll show you when I post this video. Man, my hair's all messed up. I, I was just hammered, bro. And, and and the coolest thing, though, to me, was like, I don't... I'm pretty sure that they had to have known I was fucked. You know what I mean? Like, for real. Uh, they had to have known I was fucked. Like, but here's the coolest part is that uh, Mike gave me... Uh, a jacket, he gave me a hat, this UFC hat right here, you know what I'm saying, He they gave me this, this was JJ's walkout hat, you know what I mean, uh, so they gave me this, they gave me a, a Reebok jacket, and they gave me a fight poster, right, and uh, I was like, wow, man, this is incredible, you know, and I cut it short, and I was like, I'm out of here, because I knew I was fucked up, I didn't want to, I didn't want to overstep, or, 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 or like um, disrespect or like make anybody feel uncomfortable. So I cut the the, the shit short because I was so fucked up. I was like, I got to go, man. So I, I hugged everybody. I think I, I dapped them and thank you, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Because like, they didn't have to do none of that shit for me. They could have seen me and been like, this was washed. Like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? But they was dumb nice to me. To this day, they still text me and, you know what I mean, hella nice to me. Uh, so I'm always grateful and appreciative of, of how, how they've treated me, especially knowing, like, I get fucked up. I used to get fucked up at fights. Like, legit fucked up like that you know what I mean like people wouldn't know but I was out there slick like poof, slamming drinks fucking just getting ripped bro trying to you know what I mean but anyways I left I cut out from there I'm leaving the palms here's where shit gets crazy cuz I'm from here to the next basically the next day don't even know really kind of what happened you know what I'm saying like I was like I, I I'm leaving the palms as I'm leaving the palms, here's the craziest part. When I'm leaving the palms, bro, I'm leaving the palms. This is so embarrassing. Uh, I think I'm leaving the palms. I'm leaving. I'm walking out. I see Uriah Faber at a bar. Now, normally, when I'm in my right fucking mind, I see somebody like that. I'll, I'll like, you know, wiggle and try to maneuver, pro like, professionally, but very nicely. You know what I'm saying? And I just don't remember... I don't remember what I was saying to Uriah, bro. And I think I might have got, I think I might have got on his nerves. Not like disrespectfully, but just being an annoying drunk dude, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like this is where it all went bad because I'm, it's embarrassing, bro. But uh, I think, I think I, I think security came and they were like, this dude got to get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? And they were telling me to leave. And I think Uriah was like, nah, it's all good, duh, 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 being hella nice and shit, I think. I'm not sure, but I swear to God, I remember, like, I know I saw Uriah, and I was like, oh, shit. And he was at a bar by himself, like, in the cut, bro, in the palms. And I said something to him, and I'm talking to him, and I was probably stupid drunk, annoying the fuck out of him. And, uh, and, uh. Anyways, the I got, they wanted me to lead. They wanted me to lead the palms. I'm leaving the palms. I'm leaving the palms. Uh, as I'm leaving, I meet this girl. I met this girl, and then while I'm mingling with her and shit, I completely forget that I'm supposed to be leaving the palms. I'm like, oh shit, I'm supposed to be leaving the palms. I didn't even know in my mind. I'm like, I don't remember even having to leave. I'm with this girl. Bye bye bye. Boom. Next thing you know. Police roll up. Now, this is all memory from a fucking fucked up ass dude. But I know I had this girl like this, but I should have just left with her. I should have just left with her. This beautiful, like, Hawaiian girl. Don't know her name. Don't know her. Nothing. Did nothing about her, bro. Oh, man, it sucks. But uh, I, I had this girl. Boom. Police come. They're like... I can't remember what they were saying, but I know they were leaving, and I was like, oh, fuck, I was, I was, I, 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 I was like this, my bag right there with all the gifts that Mike and JJ gave me, my hands are behind my back, I think they handcuffed me, and they were like, and I was like, fuck, I was so hammered, I remember saying something like, I remember being like, 
damn, I could cry right now, bro. Like, I'm getting in trouble. You know what I mean? Because I've been in trouble a lot, and I'm, like, trying to be good. You know what I'm saying? And then this is the last thing I need is trouble when I'm broke. I'm on a stupid ass. I'm out here broke, no job, in Vegas, spending money I don't have. Now I'm getting arrested. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm like, nah. I was like, nah, I can just cry right now. And I remember the police was like, if you cry right now, I'll let you go. And uh, obviously I couldn't really cry. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to just, just cr- like something real scary has that probably happened for me to really cry or like death or something. You know what I mean? For me to really cry. So I couldn't fucking cry. He doesn't let me go. The girl I'm with though, Ryder, this is why I wish I knew who she was. I know she was loaded too, but like, I wish I knew who she was. Cause bro, she was sick. She, she was talking so much shit. She went to jail with me just because I was going to jail. You know what I'm saying? So we, boom. We're, now we both in the back of the paddy wagon. Now they separate you. The girls was on that side. Man was on this side. I'm so hammered, bro. I'm so fucked up. There's a girl next to her. Badass bitch. And then the girl that I, that went to jail with me. She's like, I'm sitting there like, there's bars in the, in between that splits the paddy wagon in half. You know what I'm saying? I'm, ne- I'm in the corner. There's a dude next to me. And then there's a girl on that side. I'm chiming in the... Boom, this, we're making out through the bars, bro. We're just being fools, you know what I'm saying? Like, just embarrassing, just embarrassing, an embarrassing trip. And, uh, boom, now I'm like, oh, shit. It hasn't even sunk in. I'm going to jail. I'm just, like, drunk, still enjoying myself, like, because I got this broad with me, and I'm like, you know, fucking with her. And then we get to the jail, and then... And then we get to the jail, boom, they process it. And I'm thinking, like, I keep going deeper into the jail now. If you've never been booked, like, booking usually you, it's a 14 to 24-hour process. And you just go further and further into the jail until you get booked and stripped and all that. And then you get inside the jail. So I, as I'm in there, I'm hella drunk, right? And then as I start to sober up, I'm thinking, like, damn, they just keep moving me further and further into the jail. And I don't know how Vegas laws are or Vegas shit. All I'm thinking is, oh, fuck, I'm going, I'm going to do time in Vegas, my flight is at 8 in the morning, you know what I'm saying, my MGM shit, everything's at the MGM, uh, I'm like, I'm like, oh, fuck, and then I had this crazy moment, I'm looking at this CEO, and he's looking at me, and we was both like, what the fuck, and he was like, bro, how do I know you, and I said, you don't know me, bro, but I feel like I know you from somewhere, and he was like, same, bro, and I was like, that's crazy, because I ain't never been here in my life, you know what I'm saying, he was like, damn, you your first time coming to Vegas, you going to jail. I'm like, yeah, bro. I was like, man, I was like, I'm trying to, I was like, I ain't never coming back to this place, man. Fuck this place. This isn't for me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got, I got issues. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, fuck this place ain't for me, bro. And then I'm thinking like, what do I do? And, and, uh, Boom, the pro- the process is just going. The girls are still over there. So I'm looking at this girl. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking. If I'm going and I'm getting booked or if I'm going to get out, I'm kind of thinking both sides. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, if I get out, I'm trying to keep uh, contact with this girl so I can like get get her number, fucking get her name. You know what I'm saying? And just, like chop it up with her and know her. You know what I'm saying? Boom, I swear to God, bro. For, and they keep you shackled the whole time in Vegas. Like, it ain't like out here, bro. They keep you shackled from twist to waist to feet, bro. Like, straight shackled the whole fucking time. You're in there in shackles the whole time. So I'm in there and I'm thinking, like, either I'm going to get out and meet this girl and then get the fuck out of here and go home. Or I'm going to go to jail and fucking, you know, I'm in Vegas jail and I got to figure things out. Uh, I fucking fell asleep for one second on the bench. I fell asleep. Boom, I woke up. Girls were gone. Hell of people were gone. I was like, oh, shit. I'm no longer in here with nobody. It's it's a wrap. I'm getting booked. I'm going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they kept pu- pulling me further and further. Boom, they yell my name, Dylan Kane. I go, and then I go, and I turn right, and I see a door with a sign on it. And it says, it says, mail release or something, mail release something. And I'm like, oh, shit, I'm getting released. And I was like, in my head, like, I ain't never coming back to Vegas, bro. Boom, a couple hours, you sit in that room. Everything in jail is slow. You sit in that room for a couple hours. Boom, they come get you. My hair's a mess. I'm out. They're like, come, boom, I get the paper. I'm out of the jail. I have Uber come pick me up. Boom, they take me to the hotel. I'm fucking grimy as fuck. My shoelaces are gone. My fucking belt's gone. Uh, uh, I mean, not gone, but in the bag. I ain't put shit. I'm boom, I'm running the MGM. I talked to this lady, this sweet ass lady, and I was like, I was like, look, I was supposed to already get out of here. I, I just got out of jail. I'm trying to get all my shit. It's in the room still. I, I don't know what's happening. I got to go home. And she was like, look, she was so dope. She was like, look, she was like, take a shower, 
take a nap, get your shit together, and fucking, she was like, and uh, when you're done with all that, come get me, and then I'll take your key card, and you can get the fuck out of here, and I was like, oh my god, thank you so much, I just took a shower, boom, showered, got the jail off me, fucking smacked all that shit off me, got the jail all the way off of me, and then fucking grabbed all my shit, I ain't taking no nap, boom, instantly gave, bam, gone, hit to the airport, I go to all the terminals, like, hey, who's got a flight to San Ho, Oakland, San Francisco, one of them, I need to get out of here, none of them had, nothing, 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 until like the next night, bro, like nothing, no flight, I missed my shit, it's already gone, I fucking, I go up to Southwest, it's the last one I go up to, and I'm like, please tell me you got a flight to like San Jose, Oakland, San Francisco. She was like, doo, 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 doo. oh, we have one at five o'clock uh, uh, to San Jose from South. Oh, give me it. I was like, it was like two hundred something dollars. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Give me that shit. Boom, bought it. I'm out of there. I'm holding this paper. I got court March nineteenth. You know what I'm saying this is just January. So January eighteenth, mind you, I haven't had a drink since that fucking night. I quit drinking after that, bro. I quit. I quit. I quit it. I said, nah, I ain't doing this shit no more, bro. Because I've had so many. I've had over. T- I've had so many incidences just like that night where I'm like, damn it, here we go again, bro. Fights, drunk girls, just, just the bad decisions when it comes to alcohol. Plus, I was eating those pills. And fucking everything mixed, phew, fucking just gone. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I quit drinking. Haven't had a drink since January 18th of 2020. Um, I don't smoke cigarettes no more. Fucking, uh, I only smoke weed. That's it. And I'm quitting weed January 1st. That's that's my New Year's resolution. I'm gonna try to quit weed for a little while. Uh, anyways, regardless. But like, I get home. I got court March March 19th. I got court. In Vegas, March 19th, right? So I'm now I'm in my head. I'm stressed. I'm depressed. I'm broke. Still broke. I got court now, and I'm worried about, like, I'm looking up. Mm, this is the worst thing to do. Work. Look up. What's, what? How does Vegas court work? For this, I had three charges. I had three charges, and I don't even know where they came from. I don't know where they came from. But I didn't know I had three charges. Online, it said, it said trespassing. It said trespassing without intent to steal that was the charge that it said online and then it had a slash and then it didn't have my other two charges on there so i only thought that it was that charge and i'm looking up what's the and they're like six months in jail thousand dollar fine i'm like oh my god dude what am i gonna do i'm like six months i'm legit contemplating like i'm never gonna i'm not gonna show up i'll just have a warrant in vegas for my whole life fuck vegas i ain't never going back fuck that place you know what i mean that's literally what i was thinking like fuck that place I'll never go back to Vegas. I'll take the warrant. Fuck y'all. You know what I mean? Straight up. That's how I was thinking. But then I was like, this is what happened. Uh, I was like, okay, let me see. I fucking, I looked up who the judge was. I was like, okay, I'm trying to, I'm being a straight sucker. I, I look up who the judge was. I'm like, boom, guess what I'll do? I'll write a handwritten letter. Boom, I write this handwritten letter. Haven't wrote words in like fucking Years, bro. I haven't been to school for years, so I haven't wrote for years. You know what I'm saying? My hands all cramped. My hands all tired. I wrote this fucking two-page long, handwritten, personal-ass letter to the judge. I, I I mailed it out. I get a call like March something. I'm sitting there. I don't know if they got the letter or not. You know what I mean? I get a call something. They're like, this is uh, the secretary for judge. Ba ba ba. I'm like, oh, my God. She's like, we received your letter. Uh, you don't have to come to Vegas for court. You should, we'll do court over the phone with you. And I'm like, I'm like, damn. I, it was still better. I was like, that's cool. It's still better than not having to go to Vegas. I already bought the ticket to the trip. Because I was like, fuck. So I bought it with credit. I bought the plane trip, right? And then I was like, and then I wrote the letter. And then I was like, fuck, they ain't responded back. So I bought the, I bought the, no, I bought the, I, I wrote the letter. They didn't respond back. So I, I bought the plane ticket. Like, fuck, it didn't work. Bought the plane ticket. Bought the round trip just to get there, to go to court, come the fuck back home. You know what I mean? And then they call me and they were like, you don't have to come. We'll do it over the phone. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, and then, uh, I'm like, all right, cool. So, um, that's, that's a good, that's a good step. It still sucks because I have court, but here's what I do know. I'm not going to jail. I'm in California. Y'all in Vegas. We could have court over the phone. I ain't going to jail. So I know that's out. You know what I mean? I'm like, cool. I'm not going to jail. I'm thinking, okay, fine. I'm probably going to have a fine. Fuck that fine. I ain't finna pay it. I'll never go back to Vegas. So that's all I looked at it. Like, boom. Right? Uh, and this is early March. Mind you, the lockdown happened like March 14th or something. Boom. Lockdown happens. March 19th comes around. That's my court date. March 19th comes around. That's my court date. They call me and they're like, 
Dylan Kane? And I'm like, yes, ma'am. And they're like, all three of your charges have been dropped in my head. I'm like, three of my charges? What the fuck? I got three charges. What did I do? I didn't even say none of that, but in my head, I was thinking that because I was like, three charges? Well, I was for sure going to go to jail, probably. You know what I mean? I was like, what? And then they said that they've been dropped due to COVID. And I was like, oh my God, COVID is a blessing in disguise. And from that moment, I already knew I was done drinking, but I was like, I ain't finna drink for at least a year. So it's almost a year. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably still go way longer than that. But like, I was like, and that's how 2020 started out for me. All full of brokenness. Look, broke, stressed out, depression thinking of going to jail, being in jail for a little bit, uh, 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 just quitting alcohol and drugs, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit, hey, that's how 2020 started. April comes along, we get the stimulus. May comes along, I filed for unemployment because my dumb ass didn't even think to file for unemployment from my job that I got laid off from in the uh, uh, early year before. Boom, get unemployment, I'm coasting. I, I don't have a license, mind you, at this, at that time. I got my license back, so 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 May, I get unemployment. June, June, uh, June, um, I started my podcast. I started this whole thing. I started this, my first episode was June something, right? June 9th or some shit like that. We're uh, December 28th, 29th, 28th, and uh, that was my first episode. July comes around, boom, I got like some of my last programs for court for a different charge that I have out here, boom, I get, I finish the program, and then I get my license back in August, September comes around, October's my birthday, boom, uh, 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 October, I interview Tatiana Suarez, November comes around, December, we're in December, it's been a little over a half a year, I'm over 600 subscribers, thank y'all, and uh, we, 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 this year ended uh, positive, you know what I'm saying, I got money, I got money, lots of money, I got my shit going, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm mentally better and stronger than I was last year. That's a fact. Uh, I'm just in a better headspace than I was. Uh, this whole year was crazy and chaos in the beginning, and then it turned out to be a mental. And all these things that I be talking about, it's, it's part of it. It's part of the process, and I've always learned shit the hard way. That's just the way to fucking, fucking, my, I'm built. It sucks, it's terrible, but uh, it's all for a reason, bro. And uh, I'm here, I'm grinding, I'm working, I'm doing what I'm supposed to. I'm not worried about being rich, I'm not worried about getting money. I mean, I, of course I gotta get money, and I got money, but like, I'm not worried about none of the stupid shit. Like, I don't care about none of that shit. Like, I just wanna do what I wanna do, get by, save money, get a house, and fucking, and just live my dream, you know what I'm saying? And deal with people that I wanna deal with. Uh, but that's a recap of the whole year, bro. And uh, here's to more to come. And um, like I always say, man, if you like this video, hit the like button, share a comment, bro. Some crazy shit that happened to you this year. Let me know what's going on in your life or how this year was for you. Uh, you know, we're moving and grooving. Like I always say, man, hit the subscribe button. Show me that love. Give me that traffic, man. I'm out of here. It's DK's World, baby. Peace.